Gosh dang it, I'ma sing my song. Yo, what's up everybody? Dude, I quit my job yesterday. Today's Tuesday. Yesterday was Monday. And I quit! And the beautiful thing about it is that I never could have seen this happening too. Let me make sure this is focused. Yeah, we good. Okay. I never could have seen this happening. I put in my two weeks notice and my boss said, you don't need to come in for two weeks. Your job is to get new business, and to be honest, you're not going to be doing that. So, why don't you just leave today, and we'll pay you for two weeks. So, I have two weeks paid without having to be at work, which means I've just been going really, really... I've been flowing and putting myself in alignment with this project that I thought of on stage with Kyle C. So, I have to give... So much credit to Kyle and to the whole event and it, it just made me realize that I could make that jump and not only be safe but achieve greatness by allowing myself to see the opportunities everywhere and allowing people to help me instead of pushing it away and asking for help. I, when I need something now, especially related to this project, I said, I would say I need someone helping me with, I need business cards. Can you help me with that? Or I need a photographer. Can you help me with that? And that's it. And people just see my intention and they see that I'm asking for help and it's so powerful. And so I actually did um, the first episode Monday. I did it with Vivek and Robert out in Santa Monica and oh my God, it was so, it's so much bigger than anything I could have managed, imagined. And you know if you saw me at the event, my head was like, I was like, and like, I've, like the past three days, I've just been talking really fast all the time. And now I'm just slowing down with my speech. But I've just been so pumped about this series. And okay, so this is, this is my original intention and part of the vision now. But my original intention was have people on the sidewalk, or at first it was just me, have me on the sidewalk and walk down the street and be like, oh, excuse me. <laughs> that's not, that's not, that wasn't the intention. But walk down the street and say, you know, I wanna change the world. I wanna open up a community center. I want yoga and music and self-expression to be given to the people who need it the most within the community for the youth, empower people. That's what I wanted the original intention to be. And that's what I saw other people in my head doing but I realized that more important than that is for people to speak from where they are and be vulnerable and be nervous and be afraid and allow themselves to grow and let the people around them hearing it grow as well so me and Vivek and, and Robert Vivek thank you so much for last minute just jumping on board with being a cameraman Robert thank you so much for letting me grab you before you fly to New York um, I hope you got there safe, by the way. And yeah, just Third Street Promenade, we we out here. And we walk down the street, everybody's talking their talk. And it was really cool, I really liked it. But there was something missing. And I realized this because I was trying to control it. Because I was trying to be like, I want you to, you know, do it this way, do it that way. But I just let it go. And I was like, I'll, you know, just say whatever it is you really wanna say. Speak what it is you really feel right now and feel and Vivek helped me with that too. He said say what you feel and Express your heart and Robert did exactly that It was like it was uh, And I'm realizing how powerful this is and we're gonna be putting up footage of it, but Robert It was basically like I want to be normal I don't want to be judged I want to just be like everyone else and he goes on for like two minutes like that while people are walking around him on their cell phones, eating ice cream, uh, walking dogs. People do that. Um, and it was unbelievable. And by Robert getting free within that moment, Vivek just took it to the next level. And he said to me, I have something I want to say. I was like, cool, let's do it. And he revealed one of the deepest secret demons that he has inside of him and it was an incredibly and he's going on for seven minutes 
And as a result of that, he loves himself more now. And he took the power away from that. That no longer can torture him. Because he said it to the whole world. And he said it as a man in public, being completely vulnerable and naked. We were literally like, ow. I was literally hugging Vivek in public for five minutes while he's crying. And yeah, it was unbelievable. It was absolutely unbelievable. And that's, I mean, that's what this is. Like, just yes, I, I did, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I might be able to get three done this week. I did one Monday. Today I'm doing another one. I reached out to a friend of mine at an open mic that I see all the time, and he's, he's a very guarded person. And, but when he gets on stage, he just lets all of it out, completely vulnerable. If you really listen to what he's saying, extremely vulnerable. And I said, hey man, I wanna get you on this series I'm doing. It's about speaking your truth. It's about expressing yourself fully, saying what it is you really wanna say. He's like, I'm, I'm like, are you ready for that? And he throws it right back at me. He's like, I could choose the location. I was like, yeah, yeah, you can. He's like, could we go with the projects? <laughs> and I was like, you, with, you want me to go to the projects with this camera, this $500 camera? He's like, yeah. He's like, that's where I'm from. That's where I grew up. I want people to see who I am. I was like, okay. So that's where we're going today. And I have no idea what the video is going to be like, but I feel like it's going to be extremely powerful. And I'm just running with this. I need you to understand what I've done for this. I quit my job the very, the very first day that I could, I quit my job. I'm selling all my stuff. I'm selling my bed. I'm selling my books. I'm selling my clothes. I'm selling absolutely everything that I do not need. I get that quick cash, get a part-time job. I'm working on a Kickstarter campaign. I'm gonna be putting together a, a fundraiser concert. I'm thinking of all the different ways that I could bring capital into this, bring resources into this, and I need to do what I'm asking other people to do. I can't tell someone to jump if, I'm, if I haven't jumped. I can't tell someone to transform if I haven't transformed. So that's what I'm doing. I'm asking people to be extremely vulnerable, but I'm doing it first. So that's my heart right now. That's where my heart is. That's where my passion is. And I, I see this project becoming gigantic. I see this happening really fast. So I'm asking for your help. I need video editors. I need an editing computer. I need photographers. I need camera people. I need website developers, writers, bloggers. I need you, I need the community. I need people submitting videos from all across the world. I need sponsorship. And I just need your love. I need your kind words, your love, your thoughts, your support for if and when this does get tough. Cause I don't know what's gonna happen, you know? And I've accepted for myself if I sleep out of my car is just gonna make this more powerful. It's just gonna make it a stronger story. I've completely accepted everything that can happen as a result of this. And I've gotten some, I know there'll be a lot of resistance from a lot of people, but my passion is so strong right now. It's almost like no one can say anything. I haven't told my parents yet. And I don't imagine it'll go well, but I, I can't be afraid of not being validated externally. You know, because I know what it is I'm doing and I know what it is this can be. So thank you for listening. Thank you to Kyle Cease. Thank you to Evolving Out Loud. Thank you to KPFK. Thank you to you. Thank you to everyone who's getting down. Dan especially. Thank you so much for just immediately being on board. And we're all going to, we're all going to rise together. This is going to be much bigger than anything I could have imagined and I can't take credit for me for this it's not me I'm not doing this it's coming through me I just I'm lucky enough to be the person that is coming through 
So thank you again. Blessings. I hope everyone is amazing with their 90 day challenges and take that jump. Take that leap. Don't sit and let your fears hold you down. There are no limitations. Anything is possible. Thank you.